Okay, hello students. Happy Wednesday um, and welcome to your asynchronous day of social studies. Today we are going to wrap up finally our citizen activity with just a few more things. Um, I wanted to quickly talk about our agenda. Step one is watching this video. Again, you're already doing that, which is amazing. Thank you for being such a self-directed independent learner. I love it. Step two, you're going to work on a discussion post in Schoology right below this video and set of directions. It's called Citizenship in the News. And then step three, you are going to finish the activity from yesterday that I gave you in paper form. What type of citizen does a democracy need? You have to finish the create your own colony portion at the end. And then finally, you have to submit it. Um, today, there's a quote in the area to the right of the screen from Ben Franklin, one of our founding fathers. He said, it is the responsibility of every citizen to question authority. Interesting. Why do you think Ben Franklin said that? What about his tenure as an activist, I guess you could think of it that way, during the Revolutionary Era made him say that? And how does that either parallel our discussion from yesterday, talking about justice-oriented citizens, um, or how does that sort of oppose what we were talking about yesterday? Ben Franklin is a really interesting man who never shies away from sharing his opinions. He also paid a secretary to write down all of his thoughts. And towards the end of his life, when he could no longer speak because his gout got so bad, he had someone speak for him all the time. But uh, luckily for us historians, that means that we have access to all of his inner workings. All right. So step one is the citizenship in the news task. It's a discussion post. You're going to, number one, Open the news app on your iPad or go to a reputable news source website. You're going to find a story that both interests you and I would try to focus your search efforts on looking for a person or person doing something positive for their community. Now, there's going to be a lot of junk on that news site because it's 2020 and that's kind of how the news feels right now. So try and filter through and look for a story either about an isolated person or about a group of people that are trying to do something positive. That'll work best for this activity. So you're going to read the article then, skim if it's a little bit too long, and identify what type of citizen is being discussed in the article. So for example, if you find somebody who is organizing a food drive to support uh, people who are suffering from the wildfires out west, um, that might be somebody who is participatory, right? If you read about a youth activist who is trying to organize um, and lobby a group of people to change the law in Washington, D.C. about uh, gun rights, then maybe that's somebody who's justice-oriented. Now, if you cannot find a story, there are links below. I put four different types on there, some of which are pretty local, some of which are kind of on a global scale, some of which have to do with sports, some of them have to do with the wildfires. I tried to find four that sort of cover a variety of topics. So if you get stuck after like five minutes of looking, feel free to use the links I gave you. So your post below should include three things. Number one, a link to the article. Number two, a two sentence summary. This story is about blah, 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 blah. Um, just in general, what is the article about? And then a two sentence explanation of what type of citizen is being discussed. So in total, it is how many sentences? It's four sentences plus the link, okay? When you're done with the discussion post, you're going to post it, obviously. Then you're going to move on to step two for today, which is the create your own colony part. I want you to imagine that you are in charge of building a new colony on Mars. How exciting. Uh, there will be 100 people traveling with you to start your new society. Your job is to decide what type of citizens you think your new colony needs. You're going to complete the chart, and I'll show that to you in a second, detailing the number of citizens who represent each category, and then you're going to explain your reasoning in a five to seven sentence response. By the way, this is a picture that actually is a mock-up of what society could look like on Mars. Kind of throw me for a loop that that's actually potentially real. Um, but this could be a real, probable situation. Who knows? So if you are that little Martian standing on the block overlooking your new society, I want you to consider the following. Which type of citizen do you want the most of and why? Number two, which type of citizen do you need the least of and why? And number three, how will your society function? How will these groups interact? How will you create a what's called utopia, meaning like a perfect society or peaceful world? 
Once you know what you want to do, you're going to fill in this table at the top, which describes the number of citizens out of 100 you want in each category. If you get stuck about what they mean, your uh, reading is right there. Which, by the way, this last one down here, that's a justice-oriented citizen. Okay? Then you're going to explain your reasoning here. Five to seven sentences. Why did you make the choices you did? Why, for example, did you pick 50 uh, justice-oriented citizens? What, what do you think that would do to your society? Why did you choose that many, right, if that's what you're going to go with? There's no wrong way to do this. I just want to see how your guys' brains are working and how you're orienting what this citizenship stuff even means in the first place. So, again, you're going to complete the table. Then you're going to explain in five to seven sentences how and why you made your decisions about the citizenry of your new colony. When you're all done, please make sure you submit. Thank you. Okay, you're going to have a great rest of your day tackling those two tasks. If you have any questions, please email me, and I will see you on Zoom tomorrow.